Hi, my name is Avery Heath, and this is my transformation story. So I've always grown up in a church and in a church family. Um, I got baptized when I was seven. And I never really quite understood um, the whole concept of things. I understood, you know, that Jesus is our Savior and all of that stuff, and I accepted him into my life, but I never really um, had a close relationship with him until um, last summer I went to Crusader Youth Camp. It was my second year there, and I love that camp with all my heart. <laughs> um, but there was this one night... Um, I knew it was going to be a great night, the worship was great, the sermon was incredible, and I was really excited to hear the speaker, um, and that night at the altar, I gave my life to Christ. It was just incredible, um, it was an amazing feeling, it honestly felt like just like a warm hug, it was, it was incredible. That was just a great week overall, um, I love going to camps and weekend retreats, um, cause they're just kind of out of your comfort zone because you're not where you normally are, but they're amazing. Shortly after um, I rededicated my life to Christ, I um, joined the student ministries at Scotts Hill, which was a great decision because I love them so much. And they've given me so many opportunities to grow closer um, with God and to share the gospel. And through just Wednesday night services and small group talks and weekend retreats and all that good stuff. During quarantine, I found it very difficult to stay on the right path and um, to really find God in the situation. And um, but one verse that has um, definitely helped me through this is Psalm 16:8, and it says, "I have set the Lord always before me, because He is at my right hand, and I shall not be shaken." I love this verse because it really reminds me that through Him and with Him, I cannot be shaken because there is nothing greater. And you really just have to remember that because without it, you can't um, you can't get through all the trials and the struggles that you went through. Thank you for listening to my story, and remember, remember, you matter.